Yo, are you like Lil Dicky girlfriend or something like that? Oh, hell no. Who wishes? We last see Emma working for Dave and kind of helping him put his brand together. So she's helped him make his logo. She kind of wants to make him more legit. And now that he's signed with a record label and starting on his album, Emma's really trying to do whatever she can creatively to boost her friend. This season, we get to see a lot more about Emma. And we actually go back in time when Dave was working at an ad agency and Emma was his creative partner. As we got deeper into the season, we realized, oh, Dave and Emma have a relationship that predates Dave and Allie's relationship. I better drink some Mountain Dew if I'm gonna- Gavinny, go for it. Be oh my god! Oh. You're supposed to do that with an empty can! You see how they became friends and ultimately got to where they are today. It's also a very different side of Emma. You know, it's the first time you'll see me with my hair down. And so you see pre-Emma. You finally get to see Emma before she kind of started wearing clothing and accessories as an armor. I think she's very much a character who wears clothing and sarcasm as a layer of protection against vulnerability and the people around her. You also see just how much fun they have together and how much she helped inspire him really to chase his dreams. Let's win the Mountain Dew pitch today. Did you just like snort Adderall? We're not even in the meeting. So what? Let's just crash it. Who cares? You know, we're kind of trying to shed some light on what it's like for Emma as an Asian American, as a woman in the workplace, how her experience and how her trajectory was impacted by those factors and how she's on a different trajectory than Dave and how she's kind of reconciling those feelings now. The best part of that episode is that you see the dynamic of Dave and Emma and how different their lives are, you know, fast forward in time. So you see them both come up together, they're best friends, they have cubes right next to each other, they both have dreams. One of them makes it, he becomes a rapper. Other one is still kind of doing exactly what she's been doing and nothing's really held her back but herself. And so she's kind of, you know, looking at Dave and it's like looking in the mirror and being like, wait a second, he achieved everything. Why haven't I? That's what makes the episode so dynamic because you see the vulnerability, you see the envy between her and then you also see that she has so much love for their friendship that she still wants him to succeed. It's gonna work out like it always does. You're born to do this, remember? I feel like the whole team cares about how I want to portray Emma and what I want to bring to the character and really pulls from Christine Co. It comes in the dialogue and what I like and the music I listen to and the food I like to eat. And if it wasn't for Dave finding such a diverse cast, we wouldn't be able to have these conversations and we wouldn't be able to see this backstory. And I'm ready for that. I'm excited for that.